What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Odin Lake Ergomax 747. This is an ergonomic mesh chair which has a ton of different adjustments so you can fine tune it to your own personal preferences. So before we dive into all the different features this seat has, I just want to point out this is my first mess chair and also the first time I really tried any kind of ergonomic chair in general. So if you're someone who's tried other chairs like this, then your opinion might be different than mine. But if you're someone who's considering transitioning from your regular chair to something like this, then this would be the perfect video for you. All right, so as a comparison, this is what I traditionally use here. I've had this chair for about four years now and overall it's not bad for short periods, but after an hour or so, it usually starts getting pretty uncomfortable. Now that I make YouTube videos, I'm spending a lot more time sitting at my desk. I knew I needed something better and that's how I ended up with this chair here. So looking at my old chair, it's your typical office chair that I paid something like 200 bucks for. When you first sit in it, it does feel very soft, but I find as you sit in it longer, it starts to flatten out and become uncomfortable. As I said earlier, it's a great chair for short periods, but anything over an hour and I usually have to get up and take a break. So coming over to the new chair, this is a complete night and day difference. I've been using this chair for about a month now and all the adjustments aside, it's just a lot more comfortable to sit on. There's been times I sat for three to four hours without any issues. So personally, I would 100% say the upgrade was worth it. All right, so now that we got all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into everything about this chair. So receiving the chair, everything was very well packed. Judging by the amount of pieces, it looked like it was going to take a while to assemble. But overall, it was very easy and took about 20 to 30 minutes. No tools are required except for the Allen wrench, which is also included in the box. One thing I really appreciated and made my assembly a lot easier is on the screw package. Everything was labeled by name, so you easily knew what went where. On my seat, I also installed the leg rest attachment. I figured if I'm going to get a seat to upgrade my comfort, I might as well go all out and get it in the best form possible. All right, so moving on to the different features this seat has. First off, the seating material on this chair is what they call performance mesh. I've used cheapy fabric mesh chairs before, but this is a completely different material. At first, it does feel a little more firm, but after using it for a while, I found it really does help minimize pressure points. It has a good amount of stretch to it and overall feels a lot more supportive than regular chairs do. As far as build quality goes, this is definitely a very well-made chair. There is some plastic that holds the mesh, but the entire mainframe of the chair is all aluminum. This isn't some cheapy thin aluminum either. It all feels very heavy duty and honestly kind of overkill for just a chair. As I said earlier, this chair has a ton of different adjustments. My old chair just went up and down and that was pretty much it but this one lets you do a whole lot more. So starting at the bottom here, we have an adjustable tension knob. So this is for the backrest portion here. So with my old chair, basically you have two different settings. You can either lock it so it stays in place or unlock it so it reclines. This one has lock and unlock, but it also has tension for when it's unlocked as well. So at the tightest position with the knob here, this will require much more resistance to push back. And at the loosest position, it'll have a lot less resistance so depending if you want this to be loose or tighter, you can adjust that, but it's also good to adjust it so it accommodates you best for your weight as well. Looking at the controls, you have very unique controls on this chair as well. A lot of office chairs kind of have that big lever at the bottom. That's pretty much it. This one, you have nice little levers here that are clearly labeled. So you have those two, and then you have one more over here as well. So this first one here is for the bottom of the seat. This is adjustable with how how far out you want it or how far in you want it. This has a total of two inches of adjustability. So right now I have it on the farthest position, but if I go ahead and push that switch, it'll go back to the shortest inward position. So, so this is good to adjust depending on your height. And this is gonna make sure you get the proper leg and thigh support. Then the lever next to that one, pretty straightforward. This is to move it up and down. Like I said earlier, my old chair had that clunky lever at the bottom, like most other office chairs do, but this one's very conveniently right next to your seating position. So you just hit that while you're sitting down and that'll easily rise it up. Same thing if you wanted to go down to sit on the chair and it'll go back down with the same switch as well. So coming to the other side, you have another lever here. Again, pretty straightforward. This is for the backrest. So what I like about this is my old chair just had lock position and unlock to recline. But this one, when you unlock it, you can find the exact angle you want. This has 135 degrees of recline angle. 
So you can find the angle that you like best and then lock it back there and it'll stay there. So you can get up and you don't have to worry about your chair springing back up. It'll stay in that position you want it. So very similar to my home theater chairs that I have back here. You can basically set it to your right recline and leave it there as well. So coming up to the armrest, these are definitely one of my favorite features of this chair. My old chair just had a long armrest and it was spaced out and it wasn't at the appropriate angle for me. So a lot of times my elbows ended up resting right on the armrest. And after a while of sitting, I'll get pain in my elbow just from being on the armrest, which your elbows aren't supposed to be on the armrest, supposed to be like it's the name implies an armrest. But this one, it's not a you get what you get situation. You can tailor this to fit your dimensions of your body as well. So this is a what they call a 4D armrest. So starting with the first one right down here, you have this kind of uh, little trigger button. You push that up and you can adjust this down or much higher as well. I believe this has five different positions. So you can go ahead and put that upper and lower depending on where you want it. Beside that, you also have left and right tilt. So right here under it, there's a sliding mechanism. So you can put it further out or you can put it much further in as well. And then you have forward and back sliding so you can slide it so you can get it at the right place there as well. And then you also have in and out. So you can go ahead and bend it inward like that or outward like that. So one thing that I found that I really like about having these adjustable height armrests that I didn't really expect is beside just getting them to the right height to be comfortable when you're sitting, I found depending on what I'm doing, I also like to adjust them as well. So if I'm at my computer, then I'll have them at the proper position so I can have my elbows how they're supposed to be. But sometimes I like to sit back in it, recline back, and uh, play one of my handheld games. So in this case, I'll recline back and I'll be using the console kind of upward to my chest. And that's where I found I like to put these all the way at the highest position and that provides more support for my arms so I can just hold the game and not have to be bending my arms so high. So definitely cool to have those and the ability to adjust them depending on what you're doing as well. Coming to the back of the chair, the backrest is height adjustable. So this has four different positions you can put it on. So this is the lowest one right here. And then you could have it all the way up at the highest position. So this not only helps with the back height, but this also adjusts the height of your lumbar. Personally, I like my lumbar support to be kind of on my upper lower back. So I put this at the highest position and this is an absolute game changer for me. So next feature I was gonna get to is lumbar support. This has a few different settings you can go here. There's a little lever back here. This is the lowest position. Then you can click it and raise it out a few positions as well. And I'm someone that has a bad back. When I sit down, I need to have a pillow or something on my back to make it comfortable. And this is an absolute dream for me. When I'm sitting down, I put this at the highest position. This pushes a nice pressure on my back. And this really, really took my comfort to a whole nother level. So definitely love that about this chair. Last but not least, we have the adjustable leg rest here. This doesn't come with the chair and is an optional accessory. Very easy to install. It's just two little, well, not little because they're very thick aluminum bars that go into the bottom of the chair. You got like four screws, something like that. Very, very easy to add on. So when you're not using it, it's tucked away under the chair like this. And then when you want to use it, you simply push it in, unclicks, and then you can adjust it how you want. Uh, I don't like it at the highest position, but you can put it very up if you want to as well. I'm not sure why you would want it that high, but if you do, you can do that as well. And besides being like that adjustable, you can also pull this out and you have a lot of reach as well. I'm 5'10", but personally, I do wish this had about two or three more inches of length on it. If I'm reclined all the way back, then my legs are in the perfect spot and it's very, very comfortable right there at the furthest out adjustment. But if I'm sitting upright, then my legs stick out a little bit past where it is. I'm 5'10", so it'll depend on your height. But overall, still very comfortable. And honestly, it's not too much of a problem since most of the time that I am using the leg rest, I am also reclined as well. I almost forgot to mention right here behind this chair, they have this very cool rack here, which is to put your backpack or your jacket, sweater, your suit jacket. Definitely not something I ever would have thought I needed on a chair, but it's very convenient to have because most of the times when people have a sweater or something, they'll just throw it over the top of the chair and have it hanging over like that. But this, you can have it much neater on this little rack back here. Overall, this is definitely a great office chair. It has a ton of different features and most importantly, it's very comfortable as well. 
So if you happen to be looking to upgrade your office chair, I would highly recommend checking out this one here from Odenlick. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.